Boom, stop, I'm David Tam, PhD, and in this video I answer the question, when your girl makes you feel insecure. Welcome to Man Up, episode 175. Masculinity for the intelligent man. I'm David Tian, PhD, and this is Man Up. Hey, it's David Tian, PhD, and for over the past 10 years I've been helping hundreds of thousands of people in over 87 countries attain success, happiness, and fulfillment in life and love. Yes, I got that again. It's been a while since I've done any episodes. Uh, was sick for a week in Singapore uh, for the first time in like a year I've been sick. And then I uh, had back-to-back -back weekend live events. Uh, we were at the university, at the research lab, running experiments there as well for a, a major paper coming out and just really busy. So uh, apologies for the guys who've been waiting for new episodes. But in the meantime, we've been rolling out um, footage from different talks I've been doing in different places. So I've, I now I've been bringing people to, to film that um, so that's been cool. So look out for that. That's coming out. Plus, um, just more, just more of different types of um, content and material. But we're back to shooting Man Up, and I'll be doing some more episodes this week. So, question from the Man Up Secret Facebook group. Uh, this one comes from Paul. Okay, uh, I'm going to try to summarize this because this is uh, quite a long question. Hey David, first off, thank you for all the incredible knowledge and advice you've put out and made available. It's helped me a ton so far. Great work and please keep the Man Up videos coming. Well, thank you, Paul. That's very encouraging and I will. All right, here's my question, he says. Uh, okay, I've had my first defined boyfriend-girlfriend relationship with this girl for a month. Um, okay, she's an outgoing, very friendly type of girl that loves to meet new friends online and through traveling, especially English-speaking guys. English isn't her first language. She says they boost her confidence when she's interacting with other travelers. English-speaking guys. Notice like, English-speaking girls don't boost her confidence, it's the guys. And I know it's good for her ego to get attention from other guy friends. It, it, okay, yeah, it's good for her ego. It's not really, it's not good for you, it's not good for her person as a human being. I've set my boundaries for her drinking alone with other men, having a monogamous sexual relationship, as well as drinking in general. She used to drink every night back in her college, okay, da, 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 da. so she's cutting back on the drinking and partying. Um, so sometimes I would tease her about that. Uh, okay, she recently came back from a five-day trip in Southeast Asia, where it seems like she only made guy friends. Although I know it's healthy for her to communicate and interact with all kinds of people. Um, let's see, uh, I can't help but be jealous about how much time she is on social media and just time on her phone when we're together, presumably chatting with other guys online. Even when I told her I can't tolerate my girlfriend drinking alone with another guy, she posted pictures of her and a guy drinking together this morning. Okay, so uh, whatever the rules you're, you set, if she agrees to them uh, and then she goes and puts it into your, in your face, by what you've described, um, she's either being passive aggressive or she lacks integrity. Either way, she's not mature enough. Or she could just be like, just, um, it, she could have histrionic personality disorder, she could be borderline, could, like there are, there are many explanations for why, or she just could be immature. Okay, and I noticed we definitely lost some chemistry we had before it, uh, she and I parted for our individual trips, partly due to me committing the do more trap from sending initiating messages more often while we were apart. Okay, so this is the situation you're in, uh, Paul. You are um, anxious in this relationship because that's just currently your personality type. So you gotta work on that to reduce the neediness if you want to get into relationships with women like this. So assuming that, and that takes some time, that's gonna take you going through my Invincible program, and that's like a two month program, and then using it, you know, and, and so the effects might be coming in three months later uh, where you're changing, and then you'll have to develop it. You know, that's the beginnings of it, and you get, the more you work the more you are in that personality uh, type, the more that you will be strong in the, the lack of neediness. However, right now, when you have um, become attached to a woman and she starts to pull away, you get needier. You get more and more anxious, you start to fall into the do more trap, and you start reaching for it, and she's pulling away. There's so many signs. I think like if any smart human being, any smart uh, male, if he is now looking at your situation now, if he is like objectively looking at it, uh, without the emotional uh, attachment that you have to it, would just tell you the truth, which is this is, uh, sh she is really immature. And you say it's good for her ego. It's good for her ego validation because she's immature. But you're so deep in it because you're, you're of an anxious <coughs> attachment type that uh, you can't see the forest for the trees. So you're stuck and you're getting needier and needier as this goes on. So you ask, David, how can I overcome this insecurity? Get, start with invincible, that's a good start. Should I confront her directly on this? No, confronting her, it will not do anything. In fact, she'll probably just like nod, like you, you have already done, and then do the opposite, just to throw it back in your face. So no, confronting anybody directly very rarely does anything uh, or accomplishes the goal. 
I know she needs variety in her life. Chit. And I'm happy that she's making new friends as long as she's focused on me when we're together. Well, yeah, that sounds nice, but she's not doing that. If she's on her phone when you guys are together, presumably chatting with other guys online, uh, I mean, if she's basically telling you she wants to be a slut and enjoy her freedom, and you're like, okay, because I'm too deep and too attached into it, um, so yeah, I'll, I'll put up with it. So get your balls back. You know, she, she cut them off, put them in a nice little box. You want to ask for them back. No, actually, don't even ask for them back, because that's what you're actually trying to do here. Just go and get your balls back, okay? So, uh, P.S. I've seen the relationship red flag video twice. I'm aware of issues David's highlighted there, and I'll be watching again. And yet you have done nothing, because I've already pointed this out in the free, the free course on relationship red flags. So um, this is a great situation. Paul may not understand what I'm saying, because when, he's, when you're of an anxious uh, attachment type and you're needy, you just can't see straight. You can't think straight. You're, you're, you're attached. You're pot heavy. What's the word? Like in poker, when you put too much, too much money down on a hand, you're like you're pot invested or something, right? That's what he's doing right now. That's what his situation is. But I think hopefully any other guy who's watching this and understands where the context will see that this is just stupid that he's putting up with this from this woman um, who is basically just finding a guy who will give her the permission to fool around and live in her, you know, like her, her, uh, like her, her, the freedom to date around and, and fool around and have fun um, while giving her the stability uh, and comfort of having a relationship. So um, you're getting screwed over both ways, Paul. Grab your balls, get them back, feel them. They feel nice and good. Make them grow a little bit, you know, and, and as you grow, you'll start to feel them hanging there and you'll be like, wow, it feels really good. So it'll take some time for those balls to grow back, but uh, you know, we're here for you for that. <laughs> Go to Invincible, that'll start the balls growing back. And, uh, you know, just keep working on that and they'll get bigger and bigger. All right, man. So, end off there. Got a boat to catch. Oh, by the way, we're in Bangkok. So, this is the river. It's very nice here. Waiting for the, uh, the, the ferry down the river there. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, and I'll see you in the private Facebook group. Click the link. Join the group. We approve requests every day. I'll see you inside the group. Until then, man up. <laughs>